It doesn't matter where you live in the world, when an organ becomes available, the response is the same. The doctors need to fetch it, and the patient needs to receive it. Just because Belgium has presumed consent doesn't mean that problems have gone away. Each week doctors gather for a meeting. They're looking at the waiting list. Yes, they still have one. Yes, we do have a waiting list and we still have patients uh, dying on the waiting list. Um, uh, there will never be enough organs to transplant everybody and so choices have to be made. That's the reality. Presumed consent isn't a perfect system. Nothing ever will be. But the Belgians are happy with it. The government, though, isn't complacent. This is just one way they engage with the public. The message in this film is simple to understand, regardless of the language you speak. Flyers and books for children are also provided. People are engaged with it. And this expert says that's how Wales should be. And, uh, uh, in Belgium, own donation is not a. It's, it's normal that we talk about it because every know, mostly everybody knows that he is a donor in Belgium. And uh, you must work on it year per year. Although Belgium and Wales will share presumed consent, there are differences. Let's look at age. In Wales, you'll have to be at least 18 before it applies to you. In Belgium, it applies to anyone, including children. And the kinds of organs we're talking about are also different. In Wales, only 11 organs can be transplanted. Things like hearts, kidneys and lungs. But in Belgium, it's any organ, including those you might not expect. It's about donation. It's not about liver donation. It's not about kidney donation. It's about donation in the entire field. So if, for example, there comes something about ear transplantation, it will be in, covered by, by, by the law. Here in Ghent, for example, we did one face transplantation and it was the first, transplanta first face transplantation in the entire field in, of urotransplant. So it happens, but it's a very seldom performed operation. Wales will be the first country in the UK to introduce presumed consent, but we're hardly the first in Europe. There's two things I'll take away from my experiences out here. The first is that it won't solve all our problems. We will still have waiting lists and people will still die waiting for an organ transplant. But clearly, it's helped massively out here. And the second thing is that the 1st of December will not be the end of it. There is a continual process of education that's needed, and we still need to talk about organ donation. They've been doing that out here for 30 years, and there's a lot we can take away from the Belgian experience. <laughs>